John 15, 7, is a continual promise of God. 15, verse 7. If, notice the condition. Most promises of God have a condition that you have to meet. If you read in the Word of God, If ye abide in me, Jesus said, and my words abide in you, you shall ask what you will, and it shall be done unto you. Now, we live in the day and age when people want to uh, limit God. They want to uh, say words don't mean what words used to mean, this, that, and the other. Anything in the way uh, of uh, to sow doubt. Now, the Word of God says, the King James, if ye, the condition, if, if you don't, this promise is not for you. You step out from underneath the blessing spigot, and you're not going to get the living water to meet your need. But if Ye abide, I looked that word up, take up residence in me. Now, naturally, you can't get inside of Jesus, but you can be within his word, within his spirit, and within his will. And how do you know his will? You know his will by the word of God. If ye abide in me, and my words abide in you. You have to know what Jesus taught. You have to know why he taught it. You have to study, as Second Timothy 2.15 says, to study to show yourself approved unto God. Not unto man, but you got to prove unto God. That way you can become a workman that needeth not to be ashamed. If you abide in me and my words abide in you. Two separate processes right there. You abide in Jesus and Jesus' word abide in you. Two different contexts that you have to understand. Now, if you do the abiding in him and you let his word abide in you, you shall ask what ye will. Now, a lot of doubt today, you know, we live in the day and age of prosperity preachers, counterfeits, this, that, and the other. But the truth is, the Bible does say, if you abide in him and his words abide in you, you shall ask what you will. Because if you have his word, abiding in you, you will not ask amiss. A lot of people are asking God for a lot of things today, but they're not abiding in his word when they ask. And they're not abiding in Jesus Christ when they ask. You ask amiss. You have to follow the process for the continual promise of God to be in your life. What happens when you actually abide in Jesus and his words abide in you? You study and you take them in, you plant them. They bring forth like a seed and uh, they're planted in you and they grow. 
in the name of Tor. And you do not ask amiss. Ye shall ask what ye will. That little word ask right there. If you go into the book of Revelation, you'll read about asking, seeking, and knocking. It's an interesting study that goes right along with this. To ask. Ask is an anachronism as well as an action. Ask, seek, and knock. The three things you have to do to get anything from God. Ye shall ask what ye will because you won't be asking amiss. Your will will be Jesus' will because you're abiding in Jesus and we have died out to ourselves and Jesus has come in to take up residence through the power of the Holy Ghost and it shall be done unto you. That's a promise of God. You need anything from God? Don't ask amiss. Ask Seek and knock. Abide in Jesus and let his words abide in you. Receiving from God is not a haphazard thing. It's something you grow in and mature in and you exercise yourself in. It's like learning to play the guitar. you got to learn one chord at a time, and you have to play one chord at a time. And then you continually uh, grow in your music love, and you continually grow in your prowessness of playing the guitar. It's the same with the Word of God. It's a process. You take it in. You meditate on it. You moderate your life by it. And you live by it. You love it. You live it. And it'll take you to heaven someday. It'll keep you healthy. It'll keep you uh, in all manner of lives, trials, and tribulation. Try Jesus. I recommend him highly. God bless you from Kentucky. Get into your word.